Hey, what's happening gamers? It's Luke from GameZone and let me welcome you to the first ever official GameZone video review. Today we're looking at Square Enix's latest RPG, Final Fantasy XIII. Personally, I did not enjoy my adventures in Cancun and Grand Pulse, and I cannot look fondly over the removal of so many important staples of the series. Still, I've got a job to do, so without further delay, it's go time. So of course you'll play Final Fantasy XIII for the story, right? You mean, recycled plot from previous games. The only difference is they hide it with stellar voice acting and so-so music. Let me explain a little bit further. The story has to do with characters that become slaves and somehow end up trying to save two worlds. Yeah, I can't really understand that one myself either, especially with the lack of backstory provided for each of the characters. Not that you'll care, anyway, these characters are about as wooden in personality as the Star Wars The Clone Wars characters are wooden in appearance. If we fail, our citizens pay the price. Just like the Final Fantasy XII characters, Thirteen uses a paradigm shift system, meaning you have a variety of abilities to change during combat. One of the key things I loathe about the combat in this game is unlike past Final Fantasy games, you have control of only one character. So guess what, if you die, game over. Thanks Square, this is the best game ever! But what makes it better is the fact that the game can actually play itself. You heard right folks, just scan your enemy's weakness, hit the auto chain feature and just randomly tap the action button. The only human element involved is occasionally swapping out abilities, which sadly you'll need to still do manually. A drag, I know. Combat has one other slight flaw, and that has to do with its win by trial and error. So not very fitting for a traditional RPG enthusiast, is it? Frankly, the grinding has always been a key player in RPGs, but in this game it's more of a chore than actually fun. This is how the grinding is lame. Not every monster you meet delivers the same experience needed to level up. Basically, the player must go in search of enemies that will reward you with more Christogen points, because you actually level up yourself in a Crystarium system. Don't worry, I'll elaborate more on that later. Having fun yet? Don't worry, you won't. Why? Most of the enemies that make you stronger won't appear until much later in the game. Remember how in past games picking up new items and weapons made you stronger? Yeah, this game doesn't do that either. Actually, your equipped weapons level up as you do! However, there is an upgrade system, but without watching our guide or owning a strategy guide, good luck with that. When gamers think RPGs, certain elements are to be expected. Non-linear freedom, leveling up a party, a groundbreaking story, solid gameplay, and an overall FUN experience. Final Fantasy XIII did not exceed in that at all. However, with my complaints out of the way, you may all think I hate this game with the passion of a thousand suns. And to be honest, I don't. I was able to play through the game twice, which says a lot of me as a reviewer. But trust me, this game is a bigger breath of fresh air than Final Fantasy XII because of its tedious backtracking system. Since this game sorely lacks any choice, the Crystarium system is a welcome change. Characters actually start off with three default abilities, but much later in the game they gain three more abilities. So if uh, some of you are wondering, this is how your characters use magic in the game. The reason I like this is because the game actually let me choose what I wanted to upgrade, rather than an automatic selection we've seen in past RPGs. Another quality I like is if I died, players get a chance to retry from the same spot so you don't have to go all the way back to the beginning of the stage. So the game doesn't give you a game over, or unless you choose to quit. I may be alone in this, but I actually like the summons. Hold off on the angry mob till I explain, okay? Final Fantasy XIII's combat system focuses on making the enemy stagger, correct? While the summons appear very weak, if you cause a strong enemy to stagger and bring in your summon, you can eliminate your foe with using their signature move. Pretty sweet if you think about it. The last great quality for me had to be the amazing FMVs. If only the whole game was like the awesome videos in this game. Final Fantasy XIII may be the first HD game in the franchise, but it's definitely not the best. The game has some bad flaws, but also has some certain appeal. 
For all you hardcore fans out there, I did not mean to bash the love that you have for this game, but it just gets enough praise as it is. So that being said, GameZone gives Final Fantasy XIII on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 a 6.5 out of 10. So, basically in layman terms, we're saying that the game is a rental. Anyway, that does it for the first ever video review of GameZone.com. Be on the lookout as there may be more of these in the near future. Don't forget to hit up our home site for amazing content and articles and lots of awesome goodies. So anyway folks, this has been Luke. My catchphrase as always is God bless and happy gaming. Thanks so much for watching and until we meet again gamers. Lightning!